What's up everybody? Main Fly Guys here with another tutorial. This is an interesting play on a Klauser, so you can kind of, if you're tired of that same old Klauser, you can switch it up a bit. Um, I've gone ahead, this out front is called the Magic Head, um, and super cool. It pushes an incredible amount of water. So here, I have some medium-sized eyes. This is a two-aught saltwater hook. Um, I can't remember what company it is, but it's two-aught saltwater hook. And I'm just putting on some super glue, keep those eyes and this head in place, because if you don't put super glue down on the magic head, then it will um, slip around and you do not want that. A lot of people, when they see it, they ask me, how do, well, how do you put the line in? You just push the, um, I don't want to get too much super glue on it. You just push it back like so, and then you can just zip your line in like that. Um, all right, so work our way back here. We are going to um, add some flash in, if I could find it. There it is. So here's just some generic, um, some pretty thick flash. I want this pattern to be kind of flashy. It's gonna be imitating sort of a mackerel-ish. Um, but I want that flash to go for a little ways. How's that look? There we go. I want the flash to go about as far as my expect my um, my deer hair fiber. Boy, I had a little brain fart there. Had a little brain fart. All right. I'm not too worried about putting anything on the body. Um, if you want, like if you're really, you're like, oh, I want to cover up this small segment of body, feel free. Um, but I am not going to because it's gonna get really heavily covered up by deer hair of similar color. God, I gotta stop doing that. All right, so everything looks good up front here. I'm gonna start with, hopefully, I'm hoping this rides hook up. Um, these eyes are heavier than the bottom of this shank. So by my standards and my math, it should want to ride eyes down because it's heavier um normally i would use uh i would use small eyes i don't really you know my line is typically the thing that's getting it down i use it either a heavy sink or a pretty aggressive intermediate so i'm gonna go boom with some white on top and this is just white deer hair from the tip of the tail Put it at a little angle, catch it. Don't do that. I'm trying to get too aggressive. I'm trying to get too aggressive with it. There we go. Boy, I really gotta stop catching that barb there. So then I'm gonna just hold the deer hair and I'm gonna go back. Wrap over it, add some extra stability. And there's gonna be some deer hair up front here that you're just never gonna be able to get to. You know, I take scissors, I come in, clean it up as best I can, but that magic head is, well, as you can see, it's in the way a bit. Um, but do the best you can to clean it up, you know. You can use less deer hair, like I'm using a lot of deer hair here for whatever reason. But, how's that look? That looks pretty decent. So, before I move on, I'm gonna actually put some glue um, on the bottom here to, I'm just gonna hold it like this. And all that's gonna do is, it's gonna keep this sort of flash and hair from fouling. It will at least help. 
Will it solve it 100% of the time? No, probably not. But it's at least going to stiffen these up and it's going to stop it a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, that's pretty good. You can do the same thing with UV. I just had... Um, I just had um, super glue handy. So a lot of people put in flash here, but we already have our flash, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. I have this really neat green um, that I'm gonna put down, and they're pretty long fibers. You'll need long fibers. Now, I'm gonna put in a few, so really, you can go light on the amount of hair that you use here. Um, this is all I'm using, because I'm gonna do three colors, basically, or, or two colors and then some feathers. So here's a really, 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 and kind of measure it up, make sure it's about the same length roughly. And so I'm just gonna catch that in right on top, make sure it's nice and straight. Again, before I start getting too crazy, just take your time, come in, clip those down, secure your your hair just a little bit nothing too crazy all right got my green in i'm gonna do the same thing with the blue here try to find some longer fibers there we go that's not too shabby should be about the same length Perfect. And then I'm gonna come in with some, I have dyed these, these are my own creation. I would highly suggest, this is just Grizzly Hackle, but I would highly suggest um, doing it yourself. Making your own Grizzly Hackle. Like dyeing it, getting into it, because look at how cool that is. So this is what it originally was. You know, just a white and gray, uh, white and black, and boom, look how beautiful that is. So I want them to be on the sides, kind of, and I want them to go about the same length. There we go. As the fly, just adds a nice sort of coloration to it. This is sort of a mackerel-ish pattern. Um, and so that mackerel-ish color you know, they have a lot of, um, I guess I don't really know the, the term for it. That color pattern they have, um, using grizzly style feathers helps sort of imitate that coloration. All right, let's see, have I trapped anything? Probably. Yeah, right there, classic. So you'll make quite a bulky head, but don't really worry, but it's, I mean, you know, if you don't like a bulky head, that's fine. Um, and then the last thing is I'm gonna add some peacock curl, pretty decent amount. Again, just getting that sort of dark back um, look to it. Zip that over, trim it before you get too close to the magic head because as we've seen, it's quite difficult to cut things when you get close to it. And now I'm just gonna try to make the head look pretty. I've got a few straggling fibers down here, which really makes me mad. Hate that, absolutely hate that. Um, all right, and so we're gonna come up. Again, the head is quite bulky, so you know it's not a huge deal. But um, when I stopped caring about how bulky the head would be, I might be able to get to that. See that? That's how you would tie it on. You just pull that head back. Boom, pops out. Some super glue. When I, I stopped caring about what the head sort of would look like, or how bulky it was, I should say, um, 
is when I started looking at rod and reel lures, you know, and how bulky they were. I mean, their heads are incredibly bulky. So, you know, they seem to catch fish just fine. I'm not above imitating some rod and reel stuff. Or am I? Anyway, so then I'm just going to put a little glue down on the head. And uh, voila, you have your fly. Let me zoom out for you. All right, so here's our finished product. This is kind of how it will swim, and I, I love this fly. I've caught a lot of fish on this like color scheme. I've never used the, um, the magic head, but I'm really excited to. Um, anyway, so this, I think, should be a killer. I really do. Um, but there's how it will swim, sort of, um, and uh, hopefully it catches a lot of stripers. So there's the magic head... Uh, Look at that. That is pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Um, there's the Magic Head Clouser, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you know, feel free to ask. Listen to our new podcast in the film. Um, great, great episodes. have gotten a lot of discussion on it, and people have seemed to really enjoy it. So please, please go listen, leave us a review, and subscribe. Uh, we put out a, an episode every two weeks. So um, thank you for watching, everyone. And uh, leave us a comment if you have something that you want us to to do next time. You know, if you want to fly to see how a fly is made, please let us know and we will do it for you. Okay. Thanks, everyone.